first noticing his changing hairline. It's like hard to talk about. Okay, I, I'm starting to lose my hair. Brian Corder is enjoying life, playing with his dog, and working as a CFO at a nonprofit. Come here, come here. But he's been keeping a secret, you are so hidden hairy. under his hat. Look at your hair coming out. It did concern me though the one time where I did see a lot of it. I'm like, oh my god, I'm like, okay, I, I'm starting to lose my hair. The 33-year-old first noticing his changing hairline in his early 20s. Yeah, at the time, I was like, oh, maybe it's just normal, maybe like a shedding. Like the thought of his hair loss, still painful. Just want to like have my hair back, have my self confidence back and just not care as much as I do now. It's, it's like hard to talk about. Yeah. Yeah. Determined to change his fate, Brian scrolling on social media that was really good. found his answer. I was swiping through the one day and, and I saw this guy getting hair tra hair transplant. I was like, oh my God, I want to do that. And he went to Turkey. I was like, ooh. So I'm like, let me do research on the clinics over in Turkey. He's part of a booming medical movement. Men traveling overseas for hair transplants. For the first time, dudes getting cosmetic surgery feels kind of normal. Joining the ranks of women who've crossed the border for cosmetic treatments like BBLs and breast enhancements. The draw, feeling better, looking younger, more desirable, for a lot less money. Passport. Joining the nearly 1.4 million health visitors traveling to Turkey last year. There are so many bandaged up heads seen on flights leaving Istanbul daily. It's even inspired the social media hashtag Turkish Hairlines. In Pennsylvania, as Brian packs for his own flight, he's optimistic. One step closer to a fuller head of hair. Proud of you. Thanks. Hours later, arriving in the so-called hair transplant capital of the world. Hello, Brian. Where he's welcomed by a translator from Smile Clinic and into a bus, where he's off to his five-star hotel. It's all a part of a surgical package deal, costing him about $3,000. That's a significant savings, with the average cost of the same surgery in the United States ranging from $10,000 to $30,000. Brian's whirlwind three-day trip here includes all his hair-related medical visits at the clinic. Hello, everybody. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Brian. Then, an anxious moment. Brian finally removing his hat. Take off the hat, yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Hello, Brian. Hey. hey. Good. How are you? you nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. How do you feel today? Oh, I'm, I'm a little anxious, a little nervous, um, but it's like, it's good. It's not like bad. I will cover everything and don't worry, I will take good care of you. His doctor says he's performed over 4,000 hair transplant procedures. The most important thing for me is, in your case, your donor's own hair's thickness. Okay. Okay. So they seem pretty nice. In the crown, I will mimic the direction of your existing hair. Okay. Dr. Bilgen outlines Brian's new hairline, guiding where he'll place the grafted hair. The surgery begins. A tedious process that can take up to 12 hours, as each hair graft is carefully removed from a donor area in the back of Brian's head, then surgically placed at the top of his scalp. I'm pretty sure that Brian will have a good result. If I do my job good, if my team does their job good, and if Brian follow our guidance through the process, he'll have a very good result. Hours later, Brian is taking his first steps yeah, towards recovery, hoping his new hair grafts will take hold and grow. Surgical hair transplants are just one of the many treatment options in the never-ending quest to cure baldness. 30 to 50% of men will experience some hair loss by age 50, according to the National Institutes of Health. And a quick scroll through social media finds companies ready to sell you various treatment options. Getting help for hair loss used to be hard. Pims makes it simple. Cover it up. That's what I did when I started losing my hair. 
I do think that the men who are going overseas to get something that feels as routine as a hair replacement surgery, there probably is some shame attached to it. And there shouldn't be because it feels like this is so much more of a common occurrence than, than it wasn't. But while luscious locks are celebrated and even envy, some men are leaning into their baldness with confidence. Here's the thing, not everybody can pull off a shaved head, but if you can pull off a shaved head, that's a commodity. Like that is sexy. And the people who have done that and have done that well have been guys like Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Samuel L. Jackson. It works for them and it's a part of their brand. For those not eager to embrace their genetic fate, hair transplants have become a big business overseas, but buyer beware. Brian did his research on Smile Clinic and Dr. Bojan, who's associated with the ISHRS, even following up with former patients before booking. And now, 11 months later, Brian has finally ditched his hat. The best part is I don't have to coordinate a hat with an outfit now when I go out. I get to like be free, I get to be me, I get to style my hair, get haircuts. Um, it's just the craziest feeling ever. It was 100% worth it. I I have no regrets. I wake up and I feel like I'm dreaming sometimes. It's so insane. <laughs> Especially when I take a picture. I'm like, oh my god, I have hair. <laughs> For Dr. Bilgin, another satisfied patient. I have many patients that regularly texting me. Uh, for example, they get, a, get out of the shower and they're in front of the mirror. They take a selfie. Hey man, you see what you did to me. Thank you very much. You changed my life. This whole experience has been very life-changing for me. Not that there's anything wrong with being bald, but for me, I just felt so self-conscious because I lost my hair so young and um, I never really got to experience what it's like to have hair. And this is kind of like a second chance. It may seem silly to some. At the end of the day, it is just hair. But the growth of Brian's confidence, like the hair on his head, is invaluable. Do what makes you happy. Don't don't worry about what everybody else says, you know. Um, do what makes you feel good. Um, you live once on this earth, you get one time, and if you want to make a little adjustments, why not? It's, it's your body. 